Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your placements. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Alright, Capricorn, let's do this. Clearly, right now, with a mutual energy out here, with the two of swords here, you're both being very diplomatic right now. You're both not talking, ignoring the fuck out of each other, okay? This is like like a straight out and out, point blank, ignoring each other, okay? Blocking each other out, ignoring each other out. No one's trying to address the elephant in the room, all right? Now, this person views you, Capricorn, as someone who's just ready to cut their head off. All right, they view you as someone very pissed off, very angry. So initially what happened that Capricorn, it could have been that you were being nice to this person here, okay? Probably say logical, standing up by your truth. Now what's happening here is that because this person's really pissed you off, you've given them chances over chances, they don't uh, get the point, do they? They don't get the point. So now it's like you just have to be like the hell boy. You really, really want to cut this person over at the same time. You know, it's like you're not being able to move on neither are you being able to uh be with this person okay so you're like in the middle which is causing so much confusion here where you are letting your emotions overpower your logic capricorn you're coming off as very logical but the problem here is because you're letting this person come towards you you have a lot of feelings for this person but at the same time this person pisses you off okay by not taking action by not doing the right thing out here what i'm getting here is that they view you as someone here who's just giving them the cold shoulder okay being very very cold all right you view this person as someone you know who can make things happen but this person out here is coming off as someone you know who's just not low who doesn't have the will the determination to make things happen here you're going you, you're dealing with someone here who's going through that borderline depression also okay a lot of overthinking over analyzing going on from the person that you're dealing with that's how you view them now you're ready to move on from this person out here because yes you were crying over spilt milk there was a lot of um say a lot of disappointment okay because this person you always had a habit of not wanting to stay emotionally involved with you you were dealing with someone where you put in all the emotions okay you were very upset for a certain mind uh, for a certain moment you were uh, at a point where uh, you felt like you weren't getting the love and attention that you deserve now there's a point where you feel that change is needed and if the change is not coming from this person here all right you create the change and you're walking away from this person here all right uh you're trying to look forward to the future here because it is what it is this person out here i feel what's on their mind is they want to come towards you with an apology okay they want to come towards you with an apology they want to come towards you wanting to offer you something stable something secure yes definitely clearly this person's coming off as severely immature whether it's the page of cups or the page of pentacles here the page of cups gives me that this person has feelings for you so this person wants to come towards you they're scared okay i'm getting someone very immature not really the best at handling emotions out here okay so you're dealing with someone here who's probably more focused on their work their career their goals this person out here feels that if they want to be in a relationship with you correct they want to but the thing here is that this person has an attitude where they feel that if they get emotionally attached to someone this person feels that their progress of moving forward in life career wise okay or professional wise is going to get hindered which is why they like to stay away from relationships here but it is a very emotional person but this person has a very hard time you know opening up uh, in the current situation with the page of pentacles here, I feel that there is going to be some kind of communication here. Okay, the moment you walk away, that's when the communication is going to come in because it's very heavily on this person's mind out here. Okay, the communication that comes in could be a little bland. All right, it could be a little, um, hey, what's up kind of thing. But I don't know if it's going to help you to stop, wait and try to figure this out one more time here. Okay. Now, with their actions, I'm seeing the five of swords here. Again, the same bullshit. Okay, so this person out here has a habit of sabotaging the connection here. All right, that's a lot of self-sabotage. This person knows they're doing the wrong thing. Okay, they know they're not doing the right thing. But they just cannot help it. Because I'm getting here as you're dealing with someone here who sees nothing wrong in what they've done. If they're emotionally unavailable to you, 
well yeah what's wrong if i'm emotionally unavailable if they see uh, if they have sabotaged the connection if they see that you've given them a lot of chances here and um, you walked away from them they still feel like well yeah so what i mean like everyone deserves a chance right basically i'm saying that you're dealing with someone here who does not see anything wrong in the actions that they've done unless this person's cheated on you or this person's just done something very very wrong to you this person clearly is coming over someone who doesn't really see anything wrong in their actions all right this person again if you're dealing with someone like this this is someone here who will keep on sabotaging the connection unless and until they realize what is the value of relationships here okay because relationships they don't understand relationships they understand freedom they understand uh uh, change they understand uh, you know uh, job hopping they understand going from one place to another they're always looking for new experiences you on the other hand here you've been over overthinking this relationship here you had a lot of wishes a lot of dreams okay you had a lot of things that were going on in your mind when it came to this person here a lot of confusion because this person gave you mixed signals this person could probably kept you in uh, you know made you feel like you were an option in their life here but now guess what you're moving on and you're no longer confused and with the seven of cups in reverse here i feel you're moving on why because you are coming out of that illusion you're trying to you know uh, see things in a more realistic way like all this while you were in that fairy tale land okay why because this person would keep coming in and out of your life right in a way where this person showed you a little bit of emotions and then they would pull back you know like like 10 percent of emotions and 90 percent they're out and you're like you have that hope, which is why you give this person a lot of chances, okay, to make things right here. Now that this person is not being your way, you're just choosing to walk away, okay? And again, when it comes to this person or being a little open-minded to this person, you're not doing it anymore. You're staying emotionally detached because you want to stay balanced out here, all right? And so does this person want to. Ten of Pentacles in reverse as your outcome here, which is telling me that there is still a lack of stability and security within your connection. This person out here, because of their ways, their approach, their attitude, things are not moving forward. Now, Ten of Pentacles, when this comes to tells me that you are at the end of the cycle with this relationship here this person can choose to give you this commitment because this is where you're re where you've reached in the next 10 days but with the reverse it's telling me there is still some time where this person is either not ready to give you this commitment or um they're just they're just not giving it on purpose okay one thing i'm getting very very strongly from this person is this person is someone who has trust issues i think this person could have screwed you over in the past here okay or they could have been screwed over by someone else because of which this person feels that love could be a disaster okay now because of those trust issues this person sabotages this connection they just can't help it honestly i don't think this person does these things on purpose they just can't help it okay I told you the reasons. So now with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here, there is still a lack of stability and security within the connection. If you want commitment, it's still not happening, at least not for the next 10 days. Okay. So that's what I have for you. All right. Hope this reading resonates. And leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.